we're going to prove the identity law, and this is our known as our tautology, this is our contradiction onto this proof. And so we have a p and t is logically equivalent to p. And so what's the first thing we need to do? We need to write our, our um, statement variables. Sta these are statement variables, but taken in place of our normal statement variables. And so we have p and t. We're only going to have a truth table of true and false. And this is going to say true, true. We take in consideration the truth values of things. Let b be an actual statement. So this is an actual statement. And this is a, a statement that we we assume that's true already. And so we don't really ponder on that. We're pondering on the statement that could be false, which is p. And so therefore, we don't want to make our truth table longer. If we only take in consideration 2 to the first power. And the same thing goes for the contradiction. And so it's not going to be 2 to the squared. It's going to be 2 to the first power. And so let's go move on to finishing this problem when now we're gonna have p and t right because that's the following um, compound statement that is um, our part of our sentence and p is part of our sentence and so if it says p and t so both the statements have to be true the following is false so it says true and false and so now we instead of um, writing right next to it we're gonna just draw these two arrows right here and if you had a test, just do that. It was faster than writing it again. And so then now you say, thus, you proved your statement. And so in this case, I'm going to write it out because their statements are split apart. And so we have P and T is logically equivalent to P. So we need to do, we need to write out our statement variables, write out our statement variables right here. And then we're going to write out our compound statement. And so now we're going to carry on. This is going to be true and false, right? Because it's going to be half of that. And this is all always, the truth value is always false. No matter if we have uh, 100 statement variables, it's always going to be false. And so right here we have P or C. And so we're going to look at both the P and the C. And, the C. and we look right here. One has to be true. This is true. So therefore, this is true. Both of these are false. Thus, this is going to be false. And so we look at the P and the P or C, because that's what we're trying to prove. And so we we could obviously obviously tell that these two are equivalent to each other. And in terms of truth, that here we have P or C is logically equivalent to P. And so that would be our answer. And now we approve the identity.